the very easy pack. Junior Quest. Ooh, but you did not expect another episode of this game, eh? Well, I'm back for another episode of the Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey Bossar series. We're back in the very easy path to begin episode number 5 of season 1. Now recently, we just defeated our first Captain Boss with Captain Goomba, so we're now going to move on to our next boss, none of the mean with Captain Shy Guy this time. As we're on a Shy Guy try. I think you can tell what that means. With this being said, come on squad, let's go move forth. You got past Cap? Guess it's my turn. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. Alright, it's time, let's go. Alright Lord Junior, we'll be facing off against Shy Guys in this next battle. They are range troopers, which means they can hit you with a turnip from anywhere. What's that about turnips? Oh, he's listening, sort of. Now I'm losing my chance. Glad you asked. So there are three different types of troopers. Range troopers use throwing weapons and can fire projectiles. Flying troopers can take to the air and attack from the wall. And melee troopers are your ground force charging fearlessly into battle. As I was saying, ranged troopers can throw weapons, so they're perfect for fighting against flying troopers. Meanwhile, flying troopers have an advantage over melee troopers, who, can, who must fight on the ground. In case you, are one, you were wondering, Mecha Koopas and Goombas are both melee troopers. They can charge forward violently into battle and with, with no regard for themselves. As such, melee troopers are strong against range troopers. This system of strengths and weaknesses is known as the Power Triangle. Now, since you are a melee trooper, Lord Junior, you have the advantage over the Shy Guys, who are range troopers. Woo! I know it's a lot of information, but your survival does depend on it, so are you even listening a little bit? Are you finally done talking? Come and get me! Ha! He didn't hear a single word you were saying. I am feeling a little tired. No big, no big deal, Ludwig. I think we got the agenda. First up, I got some shy guys. Ooh, a walker shy guy! I've never seen a walker shy guy before. Ooh, he got lucky too. Go at him! Bam! Excellent! Just go at him, man! Bye bye, Walker guy. Alright! We won the first battle with no problem. I want to the next one. Alright, onwards to our last battle. Two Goombas, Shy Guys, and of course, Captain Shy Guy himself. Let's go. Go team! One of our Goombas got knocked out. Hey, this is not looking too bad so far! Well, we're about to beat Captain Shy Guy's butt right here. Well, that didn't even do any damage. <laughs> Come on, Captain Shy Guy. That battle ended relatively fast. Really, it did. I mean, aside from the fact that I lost two members, but still. Yo, Ludwig. Why are you so boring? You're messing up a perfectly good fight with all your yapping. Uh, Lord Junior, I'm trying to teach you about squads. 
When you line things up just right, your, com your, your combined power can be incredible. This is known as spirit, and it is super important. You're doing it again, shut up. You got plenty of spirit. I always says so. But you, even if you keep trying to teach me how to fight. In other words, la la la, I can't hear you. Oh, Junior, if you would just listen. You're still talking? Oh, brother. He really is a chip of off the old block. Did you say something? Me? No, boss. Not me. Must have been Ludwig still yapping. Come on, let's get moving. Finally. person thinking that Bowser Jr. is taking things a bit too seriously. I mean, sure, this is only just the beginning of the very easy path, but I think he's taking things a bit too seriously. Ooh, a shy guy! Okay. Okay, um... Oh, Larry! Alright, Ludwig. Alright, Ludwig said it's my... Alright, Ludwig said it's my turn. Are you paying attention? I'm going to show you how to swap out squad members. It looks like we'll be taking on some flying enemies. So you know, so you know, we should make sure our squad can handle them. Start by opening the formation menu. This is where you can This is where you can swap in and out of your squad. So I said, so like I said, since we'll be up against flying troopers, it makes sense to add some range troopers of our own. How about that shy guy? Move the the cursor and press A. So you can deploy up to nine troopers at once, including yourself. Oh, it looks like this squad is already full. Well, let's swap in a shag guy for one of the Goombas. Once you place the shag guy over one of the Goombas, all you have to do is press A. Boom! Now you've got a ranged unit to fight back against those boos. Now, if you want to put one of the troopers in your squad back on the bench, just select one and press and then press A. Got, the, oh, got all that? Trying to mess around with some different combos. All battles are different. Oh, I almost forgot. You can also move your units around to make a new formation. Start by pressing X. Oh! See these charts? They show show how your um, enemies will be lined up. Be lining up. So remember how we put that shy guy on the front line? He's gonna run smack into these guys right away, and he's not that kind of fighter. So select the shy guy using A, and then move him to the back. We'll move into the back. Great! Now your formation is optimized for this battle. Using the, your right units in the right way is super important. So remember to check and see how your enemy units are lining up. And then set your units so they're at the, an advantage. Oh man. I haven't even got even gotten into information about this yet. Eh, Ludwig can t tell you all about that. Just try different things. Anyway, once you're all set, press X to go back and start the battle. Okay, that was a lot of information to process. Um, I guess with that being said, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode right here. This episode was kind of long, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time when I come back for the next episode, as always. So until next time, guys, peace out. Till next time, bye.